You can find all sorts of power banks and while you might imagine there's not a lot of differences between them, you'd be surprised. It's not just their capacity or how many times you can charge your phone that is important. When you buy a power bank, you should mainly consider aspects like how many devices you can charge at once and how quickly they can refill their batteries or how quickly they can refill your phone. So, many of the power banks we, are, uh, we see are basic, made by companies you've never heard of but they are sold cheap, which makes them appealing. Anchor Power Core 10,000 has a different story. Anchor is one of the better known brands in charging tech. The design is basic with matte black rectangular design, tough plastic casing and smooth rounded corners. The battery fits comfortably in the hand or in the pocket, so you have four LEDs on the top of the device to show how much juice remains. Just press the button on the side to activate this, so you have a single micro USB input and a single USB output on one end. More importantly, when looking at its design, this USB output has a green plastic prong the signal for Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. If you have a compatible smartphone, then you can benefit from, it, uh, from this insanely fast charging, up to four times faster than a conventional phone charger. Quick Charge 3 is backward compatible with Quick Charge 2 and Quick Charge 1, but even if you don't have a Quick Charge compatible phone or tablet, this output is a fast 2.4 amps. Refilling the power bank is fast too at 2 amps, but unfortunately there's no support for pass-through charging, which Anchor has disabled because it can have a detrimental effect on the internal battery cells of the power bank. This means you won't be able to simultaneously charge your phone and the power bank from a single mains outlet. About the battery. You should expect between 60 and 70% efficiency from the Anchor Power Core 10,000, which means there, um, there is 6,000 or 7,000 milliamps power of usable power for charging your devices. Anchor says the Power Core offers up to 4 chargers, and that is certainly true if you, ho if you own an iPhone or a low end Android. If you have a device with Quick Charge 3 support, uh, it's far more likely to be a flagship Android, however, with uh, somewhere around 3000 milliamp powers battery capacity. If this is the case, you should expect only two full charges from the power core. The Anchor Power Core 10,000 supports auto on, which means you simply plug in your phone and tablet and it will begin to charge. What can I say about this Anchor power bank? It's amazing, I really like it, it's small, you have a huge capacity and fast charging. This is the main reason I bought this device. I've tried this device with my Galaxy S7 Edge and S6 Edge. They work flawlessly, you have the notification, the fast charging. The phone uh, time charging with this power bank is the same as you would charge the phone with a with an, uh, wall charger. It's the same time. You have fast charging as I said. If you need a power bank, buy, uh, buy one, uh, one of these, this Anchor Power Core 10,000. Also you have a huge variant, the Power Core 20,000 and also there's a, there's a bigger one but the 20,000 power core anchor it's huge it's uh, double in size than this anchor power core so I prefer this one it's small you can insert it in your bag in your uh, pocket it's very small so buy one it's one of the best thanks for watching please like share subscribe thanks